All right, guys, so I guess I should talk about a few things with the KZ. She's been a bit of a disappointment, I should say. Not really. Running-wise, carburetor-wise, she, she runs like a champ. One of the biggest problems I've had is, is fuel tanks. I creamed this tank. I didn't realize it was that eaten up with rust. And when I did the acid treatments to the tanks, it just thinned it out so much that um, I've now got holes that are just, it's venting through the tank on the top of the tank. The top of the tank was really bad. So we have a tank situation. I did get the rear tire changed. I put a Shinko on the back. Uh, and it's obviously a little strange right now with the uh, front dual sport rear street setup. When you're off road, you can just lock the front end and it's planted and the rear is just woo woo. So it's interesting, but uh, that other tire matched up to it. I'm gonna try to take this girl on the trip. So I gotta get oil changed and revise that tank. And I guess change the tire, I don't have to, but it would be kind of nice. Gotta let that drain. She just keeps coming. I wanna get every bit of that out, mainly because I think there might be a little water mixed in with it, so I want that water out of there. Definitely was some. So there's the new filter, the casing. There's threading on that, screws up in the base. Right next to it was the drain hole. It's probably four or five inches away. All on the bottom, all a 17 millimeter. Okay, so I'm onto the tire. I just removed this bolt. This is a tie rod, I would, guess I would call it, ties from the hub to the fork. I just removed this speedometer cable. Speedometer cable pops right out. One screw. Now to unhook your brake, you take out the pin that's on the end of the cable or safety clip, whatever you call it. There's a nut on the end of that cable that threads right there. Pull the cable out and there's a little block, a little guide, whatever you want to call it. All right, so for the axle nut, you got another shear pin. <laughs> what you doing, tough guy? Jesus. You know what? This calls for better tools. Drop the needle nose. Let's get a real wrench. Lock on there. Pull it right out. Look at that, guys. It wasn't these two pick arms. Wrong tool for the job. Speaking of wrong tools for the job, it's a Goliath grip. Oh my God. Oh yeah, we're getting that sweet action. And that paint chip. Thank you, Goliath. Speaking of tools, it's a legitimate Honda wrench. I didn't even know I had it. I don't like Honda. Anyway, that's that. Just gotta pull it off and get this thing to the shop. Now that the tire is off, it's time to address this nasty tank. We're not addressing this tank. We're taking this guy off. There's the new tank. She's a crusty old dog. It's got a little hole right in the back here. That's gotta be tacked with some weld. There she is. We got a spot right here. It's the only one I know of. All right, you guys. So, back with the tank. How my dad put a tack of weld on it. See it? Right there. So the next thing I gotta do the tank though, do an acid wash. Uh, what do they call it? Um, muriatic, muriatic acid, muriatic acid. Muratic acid, that's it. Boom. It's got some surface rust, it's not deep. Honestly, it's the fastest way. I've tried a few different things and that one works the best out of everything I've tried. This bike's going on the trip is riding on this tank. You're gonna come through the forest, girl. Okay, I did the acid wash. I treated it with the oil and the gas. I don't know if you can see in there, but it is spotless. It's like a brand new tank on the inside. All right, so here's the pet car. Cut the reserve down. These bolts came out of a uh, PA system speaker box. They're really nice screws, but it's the only thing I had to fit them. Got the pet cuck on, the gasket material is drying. We got some gloss clear coat. It is really clean in there.
destruction and I'm back to a place that I left a long time My Kickstarter broke. It was all geared up. Went to kick and boom. I had to hunt down a new one on eBay. Also the new seat. I wrapped the seat, which it looked pretty good when I first did it. It's looking a little rough now. That was one of the things. Okay, so I got it all back together. Everything seems to be good so far. So let me show you. All right, I was able to get it finished. I'm gonna take this thing to the mountains. So I hope you guys tune back in for the trip. I appreciate you guys if you've gotten to this point. Ride safe, and I'll see you on the next one.